What's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to properly clean your soft top windows uh, without scratching them. So these soft top windows are super easy to scratch. So I'm just going to show you kind of what I do to kind of minimize the scratching. And then I also have an old soft top window that has a bunch of scratches in it. Let's see if you guys can see that. But it's got a bunch of scratches in it. So we're going to try to fix some of those scratches so if your soft top does your windows do look like this we'll be able to kind of help you with that too so first what I'm gonna do is get a bucket of warm water we're gonna add just a little bit of soap here that's probably too much but you're gonna want a clean microfiber towel what we're gonna do just gonna dunk the microfiber in here. Kind of mix up the soap and everything. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is in here, I just have warm water. So you're gonna wanna spray down the window first. Never wanna touch a dry window. You wanna help the water lubricate the window for you. We'll get this nice and wet here. So once that's real wet, you're gonna take your microfiber towel, and then I never like to uh, put a lot of pressure on the windows. So just kind of, I like to dab and kind of wipe. You can wipe if you want, but I just like to dab it. Not putting a lot of pressure on it. Okay, I'm gonna hit it again with the water that I have. And if you have a hose, you can obviously just hose it down, but I didn't wanna get the rest of the Jeep wet. So it's gonna keep spraying on this. And then at this point, if you have an electric uh, leaf blower or compressed air you could use that just to wipe this off but if you don't have that let's get another clean microfiber towel and we're just gonna dab it all right and then once it's dry just don't touch it you know, that's the key. You don't want to be touching a dry window uh, with a microfiber or anything. You want that water to lubricate it. So that's how you clean the soft top without putting a bunch of scratches in it. Um, like I said, if you can, use compressed air. Uh, compressed air is to dry it off. Compressed air is going to be your best bet to not touch it. But I kind of wanted to show you guys, just in case you didn't have compressed air. You can still dry it with a microfiber. You just want to be very careful with it. Um, the tint kind of hides it a little bit more. The clear windows really show up the scratches. So, so we're going to do the same thing. Get some soapy water and soak it down. What's up, dude? How Good, how are you? All right. So now that we got it dry and everything like that, we're going to take some... This is what I have. I got some Meguiar's plast Plastics. Um, it's good for like restoring headlights. Um, you can buy best stop cells like actual cleaners and polishes for windows, but we're just gonna give this a shot and uh, see how it works. So I'm just gonna do side to side motions. I'm not gonna do, swir do swirling motions. The swirling motions you'll really see um, the swirl marks a lot easier. So we're just gonna do it in a standard uh, Got it rubbed in. I'm just gonna flip the towel over and rub it dry. Okay. All right. I'll show you guys what that looks like now. 
So you still, we can still see it's got a bunch of scratches. So if you had like a, a buffer tool, you could probably use that, but it's definitely a lot clearer. You can actually see through it. Um, so probably, I'll probably do a little bit more and uh, see how that turns out. It definitely looks a lot clearer than before. And like I said, putting a little bit more time into it will probably help out. So yeah, but anyway guys, I hope this video you found helpful, how to keep your soft top windows nice and clean, um, as scratch free as possible. That's kind of the idea. Uh, like I said, the least amount you can touch them, the better. Uh, it's just the material that they're made out of. They just are really prone to scratch. But things to stay away from, I would stay away from using paper towel or any type of normal towel on that. I would always stick with a microfiber and then I would stay away from any window cleaner. So like Windex or the any glass cleaner. I would just stay away from that. Use soapy water uh, and water and uh, you should be good to go. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. That helps me out a bunch guys and we'll see you guys in the next video.